Okay, Coach, sir, coming off of a uh, wax season opening sweep of rival Fresno State on the road. The team's won six road games in a row and off to a good conference start. Talk to me a little bit about this last weekend. Well, uh, you know, I thought that it was our best weekend overall. I mean, I know that's pretty obvious, the fact that we were able to win three straight on the road, again, you know, against a good opponent. Um, I thought we uh, – I was very pleased with the way we – we played on Sunday, the third game. That's been a little bit of a bugaboo for us, being able to uh, sustain the energy you need to uh, close out a series the proper way. Uh, I thought our guys uh, used their time wisely. I thought we had a good itinerary for them on the trip. Um, you know, I thought we dealt with the, the weather very well. We made sure that we just didn't lay around in the hotel. Um, I thought we, you know, got the things done we needed to prepare for whatever the weather was going to throw at us. And then we went out and showed really good energy uh, for those three games and, and uh, played very hard. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the youth in the offense that's really producing. Sophomore Matt Lopez with 8 for 14 this weekend. Caleb Nadoff with a lot of the top mm -hmm. RBIs this year. And even Nick Scholes as a junior. And Andre Mercurio, you mentioned last week, a freshman at the top of the lineup. Talk to us some about the, the offense coming around for the young guys. Well, you know, you always want them to develop quicker than than they actually do, um, and so that uh, that's some of the frustration in coaching, and of course the frustration that they have is that they want to be able to produce. Now, I'll say this: I think we have seen uh, as good a pitching this year as we've seen, you know, in the last two or three years in terms of our non-conference, uh, and this, the people we saw from Fresno. Their three starters are three of the best starters in the league. And uh, I thought we were prepared for them because of some of the outstanding arms we've seen in the non-conference. So some of those younger players were able to take that experience that they had the previous um, 28 games and apply them to this weekend against some good competition. So their approach, their mentality was uh, at a mature level, a more mature level than it's been over the course of the first half of the season. Yeah. Uh, one more discussion topic for you. The WAC schedule doesn't get any easier with Hawaii coming into town this weekend, but you do get them at home. They play tough at their place in, in Hawaii. So talk a little bit about this weekend series and what you're looking there to continue the good start. Well, over my career, um, when, uh, when Hawaii joined the WAC in uh, 97, we, we uh, enjoyed a... Uh, a great run against them at home. I think we had a stretch where we had won 14 of 15 at home. And uh, since then, you know, Hawaii has, has uh, you know, given us problems at home. Um, they have an outstanding pitching staff, which is always, you know, we've had difficulty handling them. They, they're, well, uh, they're well coached from a pitching standpoint. Their head coach was an outstanding college pitcher, teaches pitching very well. Um, you know, that's a series that we really want to play well. We always want to play well. But Hawaii has given us, uh, they've broken our heart on a few occasions. And uh, I'm, I'm not a, a vindictive man, so to speak. But I, I think, you know, we would like to play well and, uh, you know, get a few wins out of that if we can. Okay, Coach, thank you very much. I appreciate it.